In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five circle options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the first circle where I have made it more transparent. In the center, you can add the icon and then I've given reflection effect. And on the top, you can add a line, the title and the detail text. When I click with a different color combination, it comes the circle two, circle three, circle four, and then the circle five likewise i've created one more slide uh, without the background only the white background i've used and i've used some different color combination and here i've put the text here at the top of the line and when i click it will show me the second the third fourth and the fifth Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the circle hollow just click it here shape outline make it no outline the height and the width i'm going to make it as three and three and i don't need this much uh, thick i'm going to reduce the thickness maybe this much all right then make sure to align center align middle and then i'm going to cut this into half piece for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle all right and shape outline make no outline so i'm going to select this the oval shape first hold the shift key select the rectangle merge shape i'm going to subtract so i end up getting a shape uh, half circle okay you can see here three and 1.5 then i'm going to give a rounded edges here for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw a small oval shape and give some different color shape outline no outline and for the both the shapes i'm going to fill and i'm going to make the transparency as 30 percent all right then let me just go here let me just zoom in reduce the font size all right not the font size the size of the oval shape so you can see here like this and then i'm going to hold the control shift key and bring it down also and align it properly all right so i think this is properly aligned yeah so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this shape this one this one by holding the shift key or you can just select all with the help of this mouse or you can press ctrl a to select all the objects all right whichever way you feel if you want it's easy for you like this you can do like this also okay we'll go to the shape format merge shapes and make it union so you can see here now i've got a semicircle with curved edges and then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d i'm going to give some different color here maybe green rotate i'm going to make it flip horizontal and put it exactly in the center here all right so it should it should have it should look like a circle yeah i think yes all right so you can see here now i've created this circle and i'm going to group this one control g to group it hold the shift key and reduce the size and put it here this is one again i'm going to add five like this so hold the control shift key two three four and five all right so let me just move a little bit towards the left and this should be inside of the slide area and then i'm going to select all of this by holding the shift key shape format align distribute horizontally all right so you can see here no equal spaces has been given 
Now I'm going to add one more uh, shape here for connecting. So let me just select both of these shapes, press Ctrl D, move it up. I don't want this one, delete, I don't want this one, delete. Then go to the insert shapes, select one rectangle, draw one rectangle, something like this. Let me just zoom in, increase the transparency so you know exactly what I'm trying to do. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it out, no outline and then I'm going to cut this part from here and this part from here. So now I'm going to select this shape, hold the shift key, select the green semicircle, merge shape, subtract and select this one, merge shape, subtract. Now this one I'm going to use to join. You can see here like this. Then just hold the control shift key drag and drop drag and drop drag and drop now here you have to just make sure that it is properly aligned okay like this here also we need to make sure it is properly aligned and here also you can see here there will be small gaps which we have to correct it. Alright, so you can see here I have done this one. Now it's time to give the color combination. So here maybe I'm going to give a different color. Maybe I'm going to give a pink color. But here, here and here we have to give one color only. Okay, so I'm going to select this one. For example, I'm going to give orange. So this also would be the orange and this also would be the orange all right so here this is uh, i think 20 30 percent this is 60 percent actually i have to make it to 30 percent also all right so you can see it. now i'm going to select this one let me just give a kind of a dark blue here also dark blue and here also dark blue with 30 percent transparency then i'm coming here i'm going to choose a different color i could be a purple here also i'm going to choose the same purple and here also purple with 30 percent then comes here maybe we can go to red color i believe here also red color here also red color but I'm going to make this as 30% and then the last one you can give any color maybe a dark green so you can see here I have added this color combinations now it's time to add some text so go to insert shapes select the line I'm going to draw one line okay attach this one shape outline i'm going to give it gray and you can insert the text title here center align make it open sans semi bold it's any font of your choice you can choose here and then go to insert text box equals within bracket one lower limit in brackets one i don't know this much long text i'm deleting this center align reduce the font size gray color and put it here okay and group this one either you can put it here or you can make this as a long tall line and you can put it like this also it's up to you okay then i'm going to select this shape and this shape hold the control shift key it comes exactly in the center for this and it comes for this okay now i'm going to duplicate this one press ctrl d and i'm going to put it for this side okay and here also ctrl d and I'm going to put it here. 
all right and one more uh, shape you can insert go to insert shapes from the basic shape draw the oval shape while holding the shift key draw a small oval shape all right make sure that it is center shape outline make it no outline shape fill i can give either the pink or the orange whichever i'm not going to make any transparency here then hold the control shift key then this one this one and this then here i can give maybe a darker blue i'm going to give a kind of a purple here it will be red and here i'm going to give this as a green color okay so once this is done you can do some basic animation effect to it and one more thing you can do here is you can add the icons for that go to insert icons and choose any icons of your choice so i'm going to choose five random icons so one two three four five click insert move it aside height and width i'm going to make it as 0.5 and then add one by one here one two three four five okay select these things by holding the shift key the icons and graphic fill make it white and both of this text sorry the, the the shape and the icon group it okay i can just highlight like this control g highlight like this control g and here also control g to group it and then you can select all these shapes and you can go to the effects reflection you can give some basic reflection here like this all right and then the last thing which you can do is you can add some basic animation effect to it for example i'm going to select this one as well as this one and again i'm going to group this one here is already grouped and this one and this one again group it one by one control g okay and here let me just give the animation close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane add animation i'm going to select basic zoom okay basic zoom in so if i play it comes something like this okay and then this one and this one add animation more entrance effects stretch click ok and stretch from bottom and this should happen after previous so if i play it comes like this now i'm going to select this one i'm going to make it a wipe effect wipe make it from left okay and then this should come so i'm going to select this one animation painter click it here and this one animation i'm going to make it after previous then i'm going to select this line okay here only the line should be from top and this also i'm going to make it from top okay so if i play one two like that it comes okay again if you want instead of this one you can just change these two again i'll tell you more entrance effects stretch click ok stretch from left all right and this should happen after previous so if i play again one like this it will come okay so same thing now it's very easy for you i'm going to select this one click it here this animation click it here this one this line animation for this line and this text is for this now i'm going to choose this one for this this animation for this but here i'm going to choose this one this line here and this text here then 
same thing sorry the last one and the animation for the line let me just copy here so if I play okay you can see here simple way you can do these animations